welcome back in today's video i am actually going to be setting up a binder for one of my best friends um i have her binder ooh, right here um and it actually has all of the budget moms um <clears throat> printables in here i have her tabs with um her dividers and we're gonna just um set it up she also asked me to kind of mock her budget to see um how i would set it up if it was my budget the first thing that i want to do is get her budget in this binder so i'm going to be treating this like this is mine this is my budget this is my budget binder and um these are the things that i would be doing it is raining so you might hear some rain but we're actually gonna take out um her august calendar i do have an amount that i am working with for the month of august before we get into budgeting i am going to finish setting up her binder so i'm gonna speed through this part but i just wanted to do this for everyone who wanted to know how to set up a binder so right here what i'm doing is separating each month with dividers the worksheets that are seen here are the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook printables. They come with a monthly calendar, a paycheck bill tracker, expense trackers, cash envelope bill breakdowns, as well as end of the month overviews of your savings, spendings, and debt. They also come with bill breakdown slips that you can cut out and take to the bank with you. So now what I'm doing is putting in the tabs for each month. This just makes it easier to find the month when you go to um, do your budget. You can just quickly flip to that specific month. You don't necessarily have to use the Budget Moms printables. You can just get a plain piece of computer paper and write all of this down. A handwritten budget is the best budget that you can have. Um, when you write stuff down, it helps you remember a lot more than typing or having an app on your phone. behind December I would keep all my debt information um, any savings information I do have a separate binder for my savings sinking fund and debt I'm just gonna run you through my binder binders to show you what I have done with mine but this is how I would set up um, my binder so currently I just have the month of August I have the calendar I have my first paycheck budgeted out. I have my cash envelope breakdown. I have my second paycheck of August, which um, that video is gonna be coming up soon. Another breakdown, and then I have my expense tracker. So that is all that I take from the Budget Moms printable for right now. Um, and then at the end of the month, I do plan on just, it's thundering guys. I do plan on just going back through and um, just kind of recording everything that I did for the month of August. And then, like I said, in the back, this tab says monthly, monthly bills cheat sheet. This is just to give me a record of all the bills that I have um, and if I have paid them for the month that they were due. I also have the bare bones budget worksheet and both of these are from the budget mom. 
this is just to um, keep track of how much my bills are. Can I keep it, cut it, lower it, um, and save any money? Like I just cut my gym fee down. It was $125 and it went down to $75. So that is my budget binder. And then I also have a binder for, like I said, savings. So I have a tab. I also keep like my extra, um, my thousand dollar slips in here and just extras. I have my sinking funds tab. Um, and we, we will go over this once I get to my sinking funds update. Um, all of my sinking funds, they have a tracker. I have not filled them out yet because I'm saving that for a video. Um, and then we're actually going on a vacation next year for um, one of our friends weddings. So this is our budget for that. Um, I can go over this if you guys want me to. I got this from the budget mom. And then I have another tab that's strictly for savings. Um, and these are like big goal savings. These are like sinking funds, you know, the short term goals, um, uh, like my wedding and um, car maintenance, stuff like that. Um, so I have emergency fund, three to six months. This is for house emergencies. This is for a new car. Um, and all of these came from the budget mom, besides these spending trackers. I got these off Etsy. Um, I think Annalita Designs is the name that I got it from. I have to find it and I'll link it below. And then back here is my debt tab. This is everything that I would put in my friend's binder. This is for um, my credit card. I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet. I don't know. Um, but then back here, I'm not gonna show this information because this it has all my actual personal information on it. But um, what I did back here is I have either a bill or an exact printout of my credit report. So. I have it uh, separated from zero to a hundred dollars, a hundred to uh, three, three to four, I think three to five and then so on. So I know, you know, when I go on my debt snowball, which one I'm going to be paying first. Um, and then there's an extra folder back here and then we get back to here. I just keep all of my extra um, savings. Uh, templates for the month of August the total income is 1500 she's got rent um, which is $635 she said that she is paid up with this up until October so um, I'm gonna write here paid off until October. I don't know if she wants me to tell y'all this or not, but I'm proud of my friends. So I'm going to say she is in law school, baby. Okay, so I'm going to use her favorite color. Ooh, it's light, man. Oh my God. Um, I'm not sure if I want to use like a dark purple or a light purple. This is how I would set up this budget. So my rent is $635. However, it is already paid off until October. So that is something that I don't have to worry about for the month of August. So at the top, I'm gonna write income 1500. Electric, that is $100. We have credit cards. I'm just gonna put CC um, and that's $200. We have Wi-Fi and that's 61. Um, and then we have Apple. That's $30. Then we have Grammarly. Gets forty dollars, and then Disney Plus. That's gonna get 
$16. Phone bill is $37. Gym is $30. Um, NPRE, the first half is going to be $68. I do believe that that is um, something to do with uh, law school. Don't quote me. All right, that is $68. Um, and then books for school is $188. APHA, I do believe that this is something also to do with law school. Um, and that's $159, the first half. I already calculated the total of this, but I calculated it with rent in mind. So I'm gonna take um, 15, <clears throat> 1564 and minus 635. That comes out to uh, 929. Okay. And then we're going to take that and subtract it from 1500, which gives us 571 left over. Bring that down. And let's move down. The first one we're gonna write is for gas. And I do believe she actually does have a physical envelope for this. Um, and she is budgeting $100. Uh, groceries is 150. If I could just, if I could just only spell today, that would be great. That would be awesome, fantastic. Household, she wants to put $60 towards. Okay, and then Nala, which is her cat, she is getting $30. Um, spending is gonna get 70. And last but not least is nails, and that is gonna get 60. Okay. Um, and then I added it up to 470, but let me just double check my math. Um, so we are doing 100 plus 150 plus 60 plus 30 plus 70 plus 60, 470. And we're gonna subtract that from the 571. That leaves us with $101. She says she wanted to put $100 in her savings. We are left with 101. So we are actually going to put that into her savings. So she is now a dollar more than what she budgeted, which is always good. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through this really quick, make sure all my math is correct, um, and then we will be finishing up her binder. Everything we have here equals up to $1,500, which is beautiful. Um, like I said, uh, she had already paid her rent up until, her rent is already paid up until October. So um, we are good there.
the uh, calendar. I have done that in my uh, paycheck budget with me. So if you guys have any questions about that, refer to that video or I will link it below, tag it somewhere so you can see how I did this. Now what I'm gonna do is take one of the cutouts. So she can take this to the bank. So we are taking one, ten, four, eleven, two, and one for one dollar, fifty dollars, forty dollars. $220, $100, $100 for a total of 511. So when I give her this binder, she's gonna cut this out, fill it out, hand it out. All right. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I have only gotten a couple comments, but I do enjoy talking to y'all, getting to know my hot mess budgeters out there. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a hot mess of a video. Bye.